Good morning, folks. For some of you, there's a fairly important message coming at the end of this video. But there's only one place to begin. A gorgeous coronal mass ejection can be seen leaving the departing limb. It was part of a chain reaction flash and post-release flaring event that peaked out in M range with moderate duration. This beautiful explosion of plasma will completely miss impacting Earth's magnetosphere, but that does not mean it is without effect. The solar flare energy lit up the atmosphere for a brief radio blackout, but right now, the rising high-energy protons are the bigger concern. This chart shows space radiation influx to Earth on the proton side of things, and the dotted line is a level 1 radiation storm baseline. Not there yet, but getting close. It happened because Earth's magnetic connection to our Sun is very nearby that eruption. We're used to seeing the multiple connection lines while we look at coronal holes. Most of our lines connect to the departing limb area, so let's look to the sunspots and see that there's an active region which must have erupted directly south of our connections, leaving them open to be surged and energized. The proton surge is coming in on those connection lines. The sunspots appear ready to keep up the flaring today. The south-central grouping is seeing bipolarity developing behind the lead umbra there, Interaction potential is growing. Then the bigger group coming in up north appears to have a good deal of complexity already with larger, oppositely polarized umbras already in close quarters. Solar wind? Pretty calm. Speed in yellow is dropping out and all magnetic instability has left Earth's magnetic field. The coronal hole coming in is now very visible, including its connection to the north polar opening wrapped back around top left. Top quake of the last day was a magnitude 7 tremor that struck right on the mid-Atlantic ridge. We had a phi angle change, some high ionosphere energy at the time, and minor coronal hole factors, but that's about it. This one may have just been a function of pressure release. Top news today includes something you might have seen. Sun's atmosphere heating mechanism is alleged to have been discovered, and it's all about magnetic fields that form from mesospots. You can easily spot the sunspots here, but look to the surface magnetism and plague areas. These are larger scale positive and negative regions, and this is where the sub and inter sunspot group fields interact. Fascinating story. Also folks, something for the calendar. At sunset, you can already see Venus and Jupiter jostling for position. They will conjoin in under two weeks and stick around through the start of July. Dear Plains, I heard you had record flooding last month. Here's a tropical storm. The system is creating a nightmare directly beneath it, but also in a few other places where the heat and moisture rushes up to meet the convergence off a small high pressure earth spot to the north. You see it wraps both east and west. That's where we'll need eyes open tonight. The tropical storm isn't sneaking up on anyone, but we'll have severe alerts in the northwest and north central states along with that same line up through Pennsylvania. In both of our other top viewer locations, we'll see well-defined lows and their convergence lines curling around. That's where the clouds will be found very easily. As you watch those, I will remind you that spaceweathernews.com news feed is being updated multiple times a day, and the charts stay up to date every time you refresh the page. Head on over to suspiciousobservers.org as well. Lots to see in terms of free resources, in addition to the members-only content. Also, if you are gung-ho against pay PayPal for whatever reason, I do now have another way for you to get a membership. It's a bit of a pain, but if you email support at suspiciousobservers.org, we can work around the PayPal issue. By the way, that's a zero in observers, not an O. We've got the current conditions and shots of our start to close. It's 625 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.